back with the again permutation operator in general. So, consider sigma which is c 1 c 2 c k belongs to S n, where c i and c j are disjoint cycle for all i not equal to j. We know that every permutation can be represent as product of disjoint cycle. So, sigma is product of k number of disjoint cycle where c i and c j are disjoint cycle. Also assume that length of these cycles c i is say r i each cycle is of length r i and let t sigma is permutation operator which is t z 1 z 2 z n which is equal to z of sigma 1 and so on z of sigma n is operator defined from C n over C 2 C n over C. So, now how to find the characteristic polynomial of this operator, how to find the eigenvalues of this operator and what, uh, what are the algebraic multiplicity of each eigenvalue and what is the geometric multiplicity of each eigenvalue and how to check whether this operator is diagonalizable operator or not. So, these all property I will summarize all these property in next few seconds. So, first property is the characteristic polynomial of this T sigma. This is notation for characteristic polynomial which is x to the power r 1 minus 1, x to the power r 2 minus 1 and so on x to the power r k minus 1 where r i is the length of these disjoint cycles. So, this is the characteristic polynomial of this permutation operator and you can easily check lambda equal to 1 is always root of the characteristic polynomial. So, lambda equal to 1 always an eigenvalue. Further, the multiplicity or algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to 1. Lambda equal to 1 is also root in this factor, also root of this, also root of this. So, number of disjoint cycle in cycle decomposition of sigma is representing the algebraic multiplicity of 1. That is, if algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to 1 is always k, where k is number of disjoint cycle in cycle decomposition of sigma. Further, lambda equal to minus 1 is an eigenvalue of t sigma if and only if there exist a cycle C j such that length of this cycle C j is even number. So, that is if in cycle decomposition there exist a cycle of even length then this sigma sorry t sigma must have eigen value which is minus 1 and if you want to find algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to minus 1 provided this is an eigenvalue. This is simply number of disjoint cycles of sorry number of disjoint cycle whose length is even in cycle decomposition of sigma. That is number of disjoint cycle in this cycle decomposition with even length. This is the algebraic multiplicity of minus 1. Similarly, you can find what are the eigenvalue. So, 
from this characteristic polynomial you can easily check the eigen values are some rth root of unity so next property is mth root of sorry mth primitive root of unity is an eigen value of t sigma if and only if there exist a cycle cj in cycle decomposition of sigma such that length of cj is multiple of m that is if there is a cycle whose length is multiple of m then there must exist an eigen value which is mth primitive root of unity so for example omega is an eigen value of this t sigma if and only if there is a cycle of there is a cycle whose length is multiple of 3 since omega is primitive third root of unity so this is the another property of this t sigma next property is the algebraic multiplicity of mth root of sorry mth primitive root of unity provided it exist is always number of disjoint cycle in cycle decomposition of sigma whose length is multiple of m so similarly for example the algebraic multiplicity of an eigen value omega is number of disjoint cycle of length sorry number of disjoint cycle in cycle decomposition of sigma whose length is multiple of 3 that is the algebraic multiplicity of omega if omega is an eigen value of this next property is the algebraic multiple or if lambda is an eigen value of t sigma then algebraic multiplicity of then algebraic multiplicity of lambda is always same as geometric multiplicity of lambda where gm is number of linearly independent eigen vector corresponding to this lambda so in this permutation mat transformation or permutation operator the algebraic multiplicity of each eigen value is always same as gm of each eigen value and you can calculate the am of lambda which is directly we have write the property next property is this permutation operator is always diagonalizable over complex field c so this operator is diagonalizable over c in general and another property this permutation operator is diagonalizable over r if and only if sigma is self inverse so if you want to check the diagonalizability of this operator over real field or any subfield of r 
then this operator is diagnosable if and only if this sigma is self inverse. That is this sigma is either of order 2 or it is a it is a identity operator and since this T sigma is diagnosable over C and we know that the property of diagnosability an operator is diagnosable over a field if and only if the minimal polynomial of this operator contains non repeated linear factor. So, that is the minimal polynomial m t sigma x is always x minus lambda 1 x minus lambda 2 x minus some lambda r where lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda r are the distinct eigen values of this operator which can which are the sum mth primitive root of unity. So, these are the main properties of this permutation operator. Next we will discuss in next section we will discuss some of the example or some of the question which are all asked in previous year.